everyone, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window. I am so thankful you took the time and wanted to quilt with me. Today, we are working on Anna's Basket Block of the Month. It is time for block number two. I am so excited for you. This block is just beautiful. Basket four, five and six are what we're going to work on it today. Let me see what it's our in our quilting basket. I have the pattern. This is what you're going to need to cut all the pieces and their pattern includes directions how to put everything together. I have two options for the blocks. So right now, some of you girls are receiving the traditional option where it's the fabric that you need or the pre-cut option. And I wanna show you something with the pre-cut option. I'm super excited. What we did this month is we package every single piece, um, every single block by itself. So that way you don't even have to sort through your pieces. I am so excited about this one because one package you have your stars, another package you have your basket, and then another package you have two of the larger baskets and you just have to sit down and start sewing. And speaking of sewing, I recommend the Macrotex needle for piecing. If you have not put a fresh needle in your sewing machine, now it's maybe the time to do it. And I love to use my uh, patchwork pins. A lot of you ask me what pins I like, so those are the ones. I also put in my little basket the cute little threads from Signature Style and our Aurofill threads. Any one of those will work great for piecing. So we are ready, set, go. Let's keep our packages of pieces right on our table. This is gonna be so much fun to have it close to us. And I started by opening the basket number four and right here on my table, I have all the pieces. You have a nice big piece for the base of the basket, the sides, the top and a handle. And I'm gonna start with the handle by just um, taking the paper off from the behind of the applique piece. This handle is gonna be done with a fusible applique and then I'm gonna center it up and put it right on my background. Oh, look at this, first try and I did it. That's wonderful. You wanna center it up really nicely, then go ahead and iron it. I already went and ironed mine, so this one is done. Look at this, how cute it is. Perfect, all that I need to do is stitch. You can use blanket, satin, zigzag stitch, you, any stitches you wanted to put around it. I love putting a little blanket stitch and adding a little detail to my little handle. Now for the sides of my basket, I'm gonna place this piece right sides together, just like this, center it up. Oh, this is wonderful. Center it up right here. Take a pin, pin it on the top right there, pin it on the bottom just like this, look at this, pin it right here, and I'm gonna, because this is a long distance, I wanna make sure I put at least two more pins before I go ahead to my sewing machine and stitch. And you can go ahead, pin this side, pin this side, go ahead, stitch, stitch. As soon as you finish stitching, you're going to go ahead and push the seam allowance towards the basket. Look at how nice it looks. And that is the bottom of that basket. Now I'm gonna place the top right sides together this way, center it up, stitch. And as soon as I finish stitching, I'm gonna go ahead and press it open just like this. And my first basket, it's done. I'm gonna put it to the side, this is wonderful. Our second basket, it's very similar to the first one. It's just a little bit different size. Are you excited about this one? I love this basket. It is a really cute little a short basket and again we have the sides cut from the light fabric we have the center the base of the basket again you're gonna place it right sides together pin pin sew it do the same on this side as soon as you're done it's gonna be fun and easy look at this okay Hold on, right there, isn't it beautiful? And you know what I did this time? I did something different because I wanna try it and you're welcome to try it. Normally we would have pushed the seam allowance behind the blue, but this time I went and opened the seam. 
try and see if that's maybe work for you. I think I'm gonna stick with the pushing behind the seam, uh, behind the blue. Why? Because later on I can stitch in a ditch when I'm quilting it and it's gonna give me a really nice results. The basket gonna fall forward and I really like that. Now let's talk about that low handle. You're gonna have a rectangle just like that. You're gonna go ahead again, take the paper off, place your rock, uh, place your handle right onto the background. As soon as you do that, you're gonna press it. And of course, I have one prepared for you right here already. Press, set, go. And again, you want it to stitch around the edges with zigzag blanket button stitch for your fusible applique. Then you go ahead, once it's finished stitching, you're gonna position exactly right over the top and right here you're gonna stitch flip it open and you're gonna go ahead and you have your second basket two basket look at this how quickly wow in no time I'm gonna push those to the side just tiny bit because our next piece needs a little bit more room and the next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna make a little a sawtooth stars because our next basket basket um six have little sawtooth stars around it so to make a little sawtooth star what i like to do is let me i have started for you i'm gonna start by taking a light quarter square triangle placing a blue right over and right now you should be pro in doing that we made little saw to start last time and we're gonna sew it then we're gonna flip it open and i like to push my seam allowance towards the light right here and then i'm gonna go ahead take the second triangle place it right over sew it as soon as i finish sewing i'm gonna press it open and that is gonna go on one side and look at i just finished sewing this one and this time i'm gonna put the seam allowance towards the blue as soon as you finish you're gonna go ahead trim the bunny ears and you're gonna have cute little flying geese units and you're gonna sew them next to the center square just like this in a row another row with two small squares two small squares and as soon as all pieces are put together you're going to have a beautiful beautiful low sort to star and yes I have not wasted any time I I play with mine and I made all the cute little sort to star so then later on I can lay out my block and just make it beautiful so all of those are ready set go but before I go ahead and put them together I wanted to do my next basket and this basket it is so exciting let me pull those pieces and show you everything that we have happening right here so right there we're gonna need a big triangle this is basket number six big triangle like this then we're gonna go ahead and sew a rectangle to a smaller triangle another one just like that and this is gonna be the base of our basket then this is gonna be the bottom part of it but before we sew those pieces together we have to start right here on the top we're gonna start by laying out all our pieces and follow the picture I have a beautiful picture for you and you're gonna start with a light and a pink triangle and all that you're going to do is place them right sides together sew it flip it open make sure you push the seam allowance towards the pink you're gonna do one two three four and you keep going like this because you're gonna want it to do quite a few of them to make sure that you fill up all the top of your basket with beautiful triangles like this just like this and once you make them you're gonna sew them into rows and notice that i already started at my first row my second row my third row fourth row fifth row as soon as you do that you're gonna sew your rows together and please follow the the arrow for pushing your seam allowances because you're going to push them in one direction and opposite directions so when you're sewing your rows together they're going to beautifully lock and you're going to have a great basket and as soon as you finish this part sew all of the rows together you're going to go ahead and place the triangle right sides together just like this sew it flip it open that is going to 
create a beautiful, beautiful square and you're gonna add this on one side, this on the other side, and then you finish by placing the triangle on the bottom part. So flip it open and as soon as you have uh, this basket done, you're gonna press it, you're gonna make sure that it matches the directions in a pattern, and then it is time to lay out all of the cute little blocks and notice I have a blue basket, a blue star, another blue star, then I have a dark red star, and I have a, a pink one right here. I'm following my layout. I'm watching my pattern right there. And right here you have a color picture so you can match the exact fabric that I've done it. And you're going to go ahead and add two squares here and here. As soon as you do this, as soon as you lay things out, you're going to sew this to this to this. That's going to be one row. You're going to sew it to your basket. And this is going to be the second row. Sew it sew it to the basket and now all that you have to do is bring those baskets that you made it before and lay make sure you sew those to your uh, big basket number six right here in the row this one to this and look at this in no time you're gonna have a beautiful section of a quilt and isn't that exciting we could have just done one basket but Look at this, we working in eight, uh, uh, total eight months, we building section after section after section of our quilt. And in no time, we're gonna have a beautiful, beautiful quilt. And we're learning so many fantastic things. All this variety of basket. Oh, next month, do I have a surprise for you. You're gonna love the basket. Let me give you a little tip. It's going to be a 60 degree triangle basket. And it's one of my favorites. So join in. I hope you enjoy it. If you need MOA fabrics, we do have the full collection. I am so excited about it. Seamstress collection, it's available. And for anyone that it's not part of our block of the month, you can just grab a bundle of fabric, enjoy uh, our patterns, and start making your basket. And I wish you happy quilting and make sure Tag us on your pictures so we can see your beautiful progress. Thank you, thank you once again for joining us for our Enna's Basket Block of the Month. Happy quilting. Mm -hmm.